Okay, the gorilla cleans. The first time you have to clean it up into racking. And make sure that you check out the uh, alternatives and progressions if you believe that this is not an exercise for you at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna drop one side. So elbow comes back. I'll let this weight fall naturally. I'm not gonna flip it over like this. I'm just gonna let it drop naturally here and then regrip, come along with it, then pull up that weight. So it enters the ballistic flight, it keeps going. I'm curling it now. That's because I'm just showing you slow-mo what happens. As the weight is here, this one starts to fall. Down. All right, let's do it a bit faster. So hang, squat position and pull up, drop. So I did more than three, I think, but that's just to show you what to do. Okay, very important here, you get a good hand insert, 45 degrees, good rack, elbow under the weight, also important, not here, right here. Now this will get your heart rate up really quick, and that's why we're only doing four minutes at a time. One more time, side on, I'll do it slow, drop, regrip here. Come along. So don't let that weight fall and jerk on your arm. You gotta decelerate with your legs. Hook grip, pull up. Think about here, your shoulder. Pull that up, straight arm, fast. Here we go. Also, internal rotation feels good for this. So rather than here, it feels good to go in, but try it, see what works for you, whether you want to hold it out here or go internal rotation. Then on your last rep, so if I do right, left equals one. My name is Taco Fleur. I'm from cavemantraining.com. We have been operating since 2009 all across the world. We're delivering courses, workouts, books on Amazon, certifications for kettlebells. So if you want to get certified in kettlebells, look no further. The alternatives and progressions. This is where you want to look if you see exercises that you're not ready for and you need to progress to. Okay. Gorilla cleans. We're working with double bell, very complex and uh, you need coordination, etc. So. First thing that you need to master is the hang clean. If you still need to work on that, that is what you need to do as an alternative. So the hang clean is this. I'll use a bit of a heavier weight for this now. So that's a hang clean. So you could do since we're doing six in total uh, with the Gorilla Cleans, because left, right equals one. And we do that three times, so that's six reps. So what you could do is three hand cleans on one side. Looks like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, so that's the alternative that you could do there for the Gorilla Cleans. Then from there, you could uh, make it a bit more complex by switching after each rep. So one hand clean, switch. One hand clean, switch. One hand clean, switch. So that's to build your way up to the Gorilla Cleans. Then, from there, once you're good with that, what you want to do is one hand clean. Pause. Pause. 
And once you're good at that, that's when you start working with coordination. That's the way you should build yourself up to the Gorilla Cleans. Common mistakes. This is where you want to look to make sure you're not making them. And if you are, how to correct them. What have we got? Gorilla Cleans. Gorilla Cleans. A common mistake there is pausing at the bottom and then pulling up or pausing at the bottom and then curling up. Of course, in, in the technique, I showed you curling because I just wanted to show the way the kettlebell would travel. But in the real workout, you need to use your lower legs only. No curling at all. Then a common mistake is elbows out like this. Or a common mistake is throwing the bell over right here. Here's where you want to be down right here. Again, I'm just controlling the bell. It's a lightweight and I'm just showing you. This is the part that you want it to travel with the base facing down. Here, it's up. It goes to the ceiling. You don't want that. We're going to also break it down and build it up a bit. So Gorilla Cleans, those are alternating hand cleans. But alternating is where you stop and pause and then go. Here we have more coordination with the Gorilla Clean. As one comes up, the other goes down. Okay. Let's start with one kettlebell. Let's clean it into racking. And we're gonna do five hand cleans. Here we go. Pause and rack, clean, pause. Good rack always, clean, pause. Let the shoulder lead, clean, pause, clean, pause. Last one, clean, pause, switch sides, pause. Good racking always. Here we go. Hang clean, pause. Hang clean, pause. Hang clean, pause. Hang clean, pause. Last one. Hang clean, pause. Weight down. Okay, now we're gonna alternate between right and left, so we're gonna pass it to the other hand. Clean it up. Racking, we're going to do one clean and then switch to the other side. So hand clean, switch to the other side, hand clean, pause, switch, clean, switch, clean, clean, or switch, sorry, clean, pause, switch, clean. Focus on good uh, hook grip. Don't go too fast, Anna. Pause and switch. Clean. Switch. Clean. Down. If you're going to go all the way up to the gorilla clean, let's clean two belts now. And we're going to do the next step of the progression. Clean them. gonna drop the right and clean it up so hand clean on the right only here we go pause left side now here we go pause elbows under here we go left side here we go one more time each side right Left. All right, put it down. Don't want to fatigue ourselves. We're going to do three gorilla cleans. And that's a good time to see if you're ready to do the gorilla cleans. Here we go. In your own time, clean it. Do three gorilla cleans. Left, right equals one. All right, that raises the heart rate so quick. 
That's good. If you want access to over 200 kettlebell workouts, full length follow along workouts, a technique, common mistakes, alternatives and progressions, and so much more, then check out the link below. For less than $22, you can join the private group, get access to the library, kettlebell routines, kettlebell programs, and so much more. It also includes coaching, personalized coaching from myself and other caveman trainers. So check out the link. It's well worth it for any beginner, even trainers. So if you're a trainer and you're running out of ideas for things to do with your clients and you're not sure how to use kettlebells, then check out the link below. It's well worth the money.